Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be trying out a new to me brand called Make Beauty and I've seen this absolutely blowing up all over TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. They're everywhere and I haven't seen them too, too much on YouTube yet, but I have a feeling that it's coming. So I wanted to get the jump on that, see what these products are all about. And as you know, a lot of times when you see these things on social media, they could be ads or sponsored. And as a completely unsponsored channel, I wanted to give these a real fair shot and just an honest review so that you guys know whether they're worth buying or not because I have a feeling you're probably seeing them over on social media as well. So I headed over to their website just to see what they're all about and I love the aesthetic. I think everything looks like really simple and sleek and elegant as far as the packaging goes. I loved the description and the ingredients of a lot of the products and I didn't buy a lot because I just don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. So once we find out then I may go back and order more if it's fantastic. So the first product that I had seen everybody talking about over on TikTok is the Diffusion Dew Skin Tint. So this is the one that I kind of was like, eh, I don't know if I really need that. I have a bunch of skin tints. And then um, the other product that I saw then people talking about were the single eyeshadows and people were like swatching them all the way down their arm like this and they just looked absolutely incredible. And that's, I think, the product that really made me decide, you know what, I'm gonna check these out. So um, let's go ahead and start out with Diffusion Dew first. So I love the packaging. I think this is so cool. I love the really tall, slim bottle. And this is made in South Korea, and it claims to be a next generation skin tint that features skin mimicking pigments that add radiant coverage while blurring, smoothing, and brightening. It's also supposed to be sheer yet buildable, lightweight, and also also contains niacinamide and adenosine to enhance your skin for a glowing, healthy looking complexion. So I ended up getting mine in the shade 1.5. It looks a little bit peachy, but I find that so many foundations are leaning really peachy these days. So I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna start working this into my skin with the BK Beauty 101 brush. Oh, it feels really nice. It's a serum like texture and it has a little bit of a cooling sensation as it's going on. It feels like I'm putting water on my skin basically. So it's feeling really hydrating and it's funny because on my skin, this is just sinking right in. My skin just drinking it right up. And when I saw people on TikTok putting this on, it made their skin look like really dewy and shiny and I don't feel like it's doing that for me. It's really just going right in. So that's interesting. I was kind of expecting this to be a little bit more of like that dewy type of look. I mean, it is definitely adding a little bit of a glow, but it's nothing as extreme as what I saw in the other videos. To be honest, I prefer that. I don't always love like a really dewy type of a skin tint. And so far, I really like how this is settling in. I feel like it does have a slight bit of a blurring effect. I just wanna zoom you in a little bit more so you can see. I feel like this looks incredibly natural. It doesn't look even up close like I have product on my face or like I'm wearing foundation. It's really such a gorgeous skin-like finish. And while it doesn't cover everything, I think as far as skin tints go, it's one of the nicer ones that I've tried. I really like the satiny finish that it has on me where it's not matte and it's also not overly dewy. And I think the color is actually a pretty decent match as well. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal just to add slightly more coverage in certain areas. So like around my eyes and just a little bit around my nose, but I do feel like the skin tint did a pretty good job at just evening everything out. So I don't feel like I need a lot of concealer, just maybe a little bit. And this is the shade Buff, by the way. So I'm just kind of patting this in with my finger. I love this concealer because it's so thin and it never looks dry or cakey, which is definitely a plus. It's also super, super affordable. If you have dry or more mature skin, I highly recommend this one. Next up, I cannot wait to try these single eyeshadows. So these are called the Multichromatic Metal Reflecting Eyeshadow. The packaging is also gorgeous on these and I got two shades, Gleam and Quartz. These are made in Italy and they claim to have special treated micas reflective pearls and conditioning lipids that give a highly pigmented multi-chrome 
finish. And these truly are spectacular. They swatch out like butter. They're just so soft and silky and they seem like they're gonna be super blendable as well. So I really wanna try the shade Quartz on my lid and really on their website, they show these being used as just a one and done type of shadow. So they show them picking it up with their finger, kind of slicking it on the lids just like this and then blending out the edges with a brush. So it's just supposed to be a really simple, easy type of product. So I'm just patting this on and these do have a super creamy feel to them. These are the types of eyeshadows that I really miss being in palettes. I think everybody is kind of going for glitter these days and I miss these really soft, metallic, pigmented eyeshadows. So these are great. Then I'm just gonna take the BK Beauty A503 and just go back and forth along the top edge. I'm not gonna blend what's on my lid necessarily. I'm just staying along the top just to blend this out slightly and get rid of any harsh edges. I feel like this is so easy. It's just kind of one step and you're done. You have an eye look. So, all right, let me just do the other eye really quick. You really can just kind of pack it on with your finger, just add a lot and then go back and blend. This shade Quartz too is so beautiful. It's like a metallic deep gray, but it has almost a little hint of purple behind it. So it's really cool toned. I could totally see using these on just an everyday basis. I usually save the complicated eye looks for my YouTube videos. And you know, if I'm just trying to get out the door in the morning, I usually just use a one and done shadow like this and just kind of blend it. So these are perfect for that. All right, for mascara, I'm just gonna use the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. This is the XL version, the new one that they just came out with. And Make Beauty also does have mascara, but like I said, I didn't wanna order too many things because I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it or not. But after trying the skin tint and the eyeshadows, now I'm kind of wishing I had ordered some more things. So I may end up going back because the quality really seems outstanding so far. If you're looking for a good tubing mascara, I love this new one from Tarte. It's really similar to the last tubing mascara that they had, except this one actually removes like a tubing formula and the old one didn't. So I do prefer this new one quite a bit. And actually, I think I just wanna go back into this and put a little bit on my lower lash line. I just kinda wanna smudge it underneath. So this is the Sigma E57 brush. And I'm just gonna run this right along my lower lashes. I feel like these blend so beautifully too that it just gives that nice kind of smudged out, smoked out effect. It's so beautiful. And I also love that when you blend these out, they lose a lot of that metallic quality. So the area that I applied with my finger still looks really shiny, but then up here, it softens that shimmery effect because when you blend it out, like up here by the brow bone, it just looks a lot less intense. So it really does look like you used multiple shadows even when you didn't. So I'm really impressed with these. I'm almost ready to go back and just grab a few more shades. So next up for cheeks, I have their blush stick and they do have a powder blush as well. And I was tempted by that one. Again, that's something that I might go back and look into, but um, the blush stick is called the Heatstroke Dewy Gel Tint. This is also made in Italy and it says that it's an innovative gel tint that that's formulated with skin enhancing pigments to create a dewy watercolor blush effect. I love that. It also has skin plumping brown algae that's supposed to enhance volume and give radiance. And I have this in the shade Slush, which I thought looked like a beautiful kind of cool toned berry shade. So I'm gonna pick this up on the BK Beauty 112 brush and I'm just gonna pick it up straight from the tube and just start patting it right in. This seems like the type of product that might leave a little bit of a stain behind. So I'm hoping that it's long lasting and it is pretty sheer, like compared to something like those new milk makeup jelly sticks, those are really intense right off the bat. This one is definitely a little bit more buildable, but again, I prefer that just for ease of use. You can always build up the color, but it's really hard to take it away. So honestly, this is just going on to my skin so seamlessly. Just like the skin tint, this looks incredibly natural. It looks like it's just your cheeks blushing from within rather than that you're wearing makeup. I absolutely love it from the color to how natural it looks on my skin. It's super easy to build up and I'm just applying it with like a stamping motion because I don't wanna really disrupt the foundation underneath. So 
I'm just trying to pat it into my skin and this really doesn't take any effort to blend it. So you can just kind of tap it with your brush and it just melts right in. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some to the other side. And by the way, all of these products seem to be fragrance free. I'm not smelling anything as I'm applying them. I know some of you guys are sensitive to fragranced products, so that's a good thing for sure. And I think the thing I'm loving so far the most about this brand is that all of these products seem to be really fuss-free. Like it's just all things that are super easy to use. I'm a busy mom. I don't always have a lot of time to put makeup on, even though it may seem that way. Usually the days that I apply the most makeup is when I sit down to film, but every other day, I just want something as quick and easy as I can make it. And I love that these products really are helping to give a polished look with almost no effort. So next up for lips, I have this balm. This is called the Serum Balm Intense. This is made in the United States and it says that it's a serum lip product that provides instant hydration while softening, smoothing, and plumping. It has a natural lip volumizing ingredient that's derived from biomolecules extracted from pomegranate flowers along with liquefied jojoba. So it's supposed to add luxurious, long-lasting shine and cushion and I have it in the shade Magnetic Mauve. Again, it doesn't seem to have any fragrance to it. This is so thin. It really does feel like a serum, almost like a gel serum. And it definitely seems to have a nice amount of pigmentation for a lip balm. To me, it feels a lot like a lip oil with a lot of pigment. And I'm already obsessed with this color. This is the most perfect, cool toned, mauvey pink. And I love that it's not overly glossy. There's no stickiness to it. It really does just feel like a lip oil or a lip serum. And it just adds like a little bit of dewiness, but it's not, like I said, overly glossy or shiny. So this might be the quickest and easiest makeup look that I've done on my channel in a really long time, but I still feel put together. I feel like these products were just so quick and easy. And I'm absolutely interested in trying more from this brand. I never know what to expect when I see things on TikTok, but I'm super impressed with everything that I tried. So I'll be sure to leave a pinned comment down below and let you know how everything wore and whether my opinion is still the same by the end of the night. But so far, I just love how easy everything is to use. So if you stuck with me this long, I wanna thank you so much for watching today's video all the way to the end. I really, truly appreciate it. If you do have some extra time and you'd like to watch another video, I'll put something right up here for you to check out next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.